What's up, everybody? Thank you all so much for all your support. We're here for another episode of The Josh Wallace Show. Happy NFL Draft Day 2020. Go Pack Go. I'm a huge Packers fan. Let's get it. Episode 3. Here we go. We're going to talk Luka Doncic versus Zion Williamson rookie cards. We're going to still uh, keep uh, the same uh, basketball topics for this week. And uh, next week we will be talking football, but this week we will be talking Luka Doncic versus Zion Williamson rookie cards. Let's go. As you see, on my right side is my stack of Zion Williamson's, and on my left side is my one Luka Doncic rookie. And I love Luka Doncic. I think he is awesome. Uh, this year was uh, he was an all-star selection starter. Um, and, uh, if not for the coronavirus, uh, he was going to lead his Dallas Mavericks to the playoffs this year. Looking back on this video, five, 10 years from now, uh, you know, obviously we'll, we'll know, you know, <laughs> who had the better career or who has had the better career. But, uh, you know, I just, I really like Zion Williamson. Um, and I kind of bought Zion Williamson's cards, uh, earlier on uh for fairly cheap um this one's really cool this is a panini um i think this is a black friday no this is a cyber monday this is a cyber monday zion williamson um this one is numbered to 99 and uh i really like the look of that um i just love zion you know of course the number one overall pick from duke and, uh, you know, nobody expected New Orleans to get that number one pick. This one's number to 199. Um, and this is another uh, Cyber Monday, which is really, really cool. I just, uh, and anytime you can get, you know, of course, his Duke uniformed uh, rookie cards versus his Pelicans uh, uniformed rookie cards. Of course, the Pelicans ones will be worth a little bit more, of course. <laughs> significantly more this one is a duke uh, rookie this one's number two number to 50 it should be on the bottom there but there we go so this one's number to 50 i got this for like 20 bucks um so i picked these up for fairly cheap early on um here's another one um which is really really cool I, I just I, I think I think it's very impressive how Zion is basically just coming to the league. This one's numbered to fifty as well. Uh Zion is basically coming to the league and just has, you know, right from the get-go, of course, he was injured uh for a good amount of the first part of this season. Uh but he has really been bullying these grown men. <laughs> I mean, he he is just mature um, you know, and his stats he's been putting up have been phenomenal. Um, I really think that Zion's ceiling, I mean, the sky is the limit for, for Zion. Uh, this is the far out, uh, it's the hyper version, uh, Pelicans. And here is the far out. This is just the, uh, regular, like the, like the base version of the far out. Insert. And these, this is the Emergent Silver, which I like these. These are really, really cool. Um, and like I was saying, like these Emergent Silvers, I got super cheap. I mean, like I got these for like anywhere from like 8 to 12 bucks, I think. Which I think, and I, yes, of course, I need to grade these as well. Um, I need to grade these. And uh, the majority of these, this is another silver emergent. The the majority of these Zions uh, would, in my opinion, grade very, very high. Mint to gem mint. So um, I think, I just think Zion is, you know, like if I was a player, <laughs> you know, if I was a player in the league, you know, because I, I would envision myself either, of course, I would want to be Jordan. Um, but then... Uh, you know, bullying people around, like, how Zion Williamson has just been bullying these grown men, like I've been saying. He's just, he's just so good. 
And so I, I'm just dying to to have the NBA back. Of course, John Morant is the other superstar rookie uh, coming into the league. He was the number two overall pick. And uh, people are saying that, you know, John Morant will most likely win Rookie of the Year. And, uh, you know, um, I, I feel like if Zion would have been healthy, you know, to start the year, it would have been a no-brainer, in my opinion. It would have been Zion all day. No question about it. But since Zion missed so much playing time, since, since he missed so much uh, of the beginning of the season, basically like, what, 30-something games or whatever, um, you know, John Morant has been healthy the whole year. And so, but when Zion came in, man alive, he really made a statement. And uh, these are some base. This one's an instant impact rookie. Um, and this, here's some more emergent. Oh, here's a, another silver. Um, but like I was saying, I've got these super cheap. I love Zion. I love um, how just professional he is um, with the media. And uh, he seems like a really good guy. I just, I just really hope he stays healthy. Um, that's the only thing that would deter, of course, anybody's career is, you know, if, if they have, you know, the talent of Zion, not only the talent of Zion, but um, his health. And I just hope that he can stay healthy. Um, it seems like every time he goes up for an alley-oop or something like that, it's like I, I hold my breath you know, when he comes back down, this is a My House rookie. It's super cool from Optic. Um, and I just kind of hold my breath every time he comes down from an alley-oop. And it's like, man, you know, I, I hope <laughs> I hope he lands the right way, you know. This is the pink uh, Pulsar, I believe, uh, from his Duke uniform. And so I'm thinking if I get all these graded, you know, of course... You know, I don't really want to sell these. You know, I, I wanted to hold on to Zion long term. Um, and especially now, of course, since the, you know, with the coronavirus, now is not the time to sell, of course. But I would not sell these, really, to be honest with you. I I, I really do feel like Zion is a once-in-a-generational talent. Um, and like I was saying, you know, like five, ten years from now, you know, we'll all know. And this is actually the... Crusade Silver, right there. Uh, we'll all know, of course, you know, uh, who's who's going to have the better career uh, between Luca and Zion. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, that would be awesome if you would please consider subscribing and liking and commenting. I comment uh, back on every, um, or I, I'm sorry, I reply to every comment uh, that I get on, on this channel. And also on Instagram... I am uh, at the Josh Wallace show. So this is the third episode. And here's another Pink Pulsar Crusade. And I just really, I really, really, um, here, let me fix the light. There we go. I just really think Zion has such a huge upside. I mean, like, he's only a rookie and he's already doing this much damage on the court. I mean you know, who knows what he's going to be able to do. Revolution. I always liked Revolution. Revolution's cool. Revolution. Pelicans won. And this is a, a Panini Contenders rookie. Super nice. And this one, All-Americans. There we go. This one's numbered to 249 on the back. Try to speed it up a little bit. This one's uh, all Americans uh, Zion again. This one is not numbered. That one's super cool too. It's like silver. And there's the base version. Here's some more. I got a good amount of these. These are um, rated rookies. These are really, really cool, too. I got these super cheap. Like, I think I got these for, like, eight bucks a piece or something like that. So, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. 
and they're all really, really fine shape, which is nice. Um, I haven't really looked at the pricing on them recently, but I know that um, these rated rookies are selling quite a bit now. I can definitely tell you they're more than eight to 12 bucks. Um, at least I would think. I think Giannis is awesome. And it was really fun earlier this year to watch Zion go up against Giannis. That was really, really cool. And Zion ripped the ball out of Giannis's arms. That was really, really cool to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, like I say, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to submit these to PSA because it's like, honestly, like these are all in really nice shape. That one's off center. This one's off center, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that one's, that one's better centering. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's just so awesome how the card community is just has embraced really this channel and I really appreciate it. 